Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And in today's brief video, we're gonna talk about the number one thing that we tell our clients to do when it comes to quitting pornography addiction. Here at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, we help people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, pornography, and a whole host of other things. So be sure to subscribe below if you find value in this content. So the number one thing we tell our clients that they have to develop in order to overcome pornography addiction is the ability to say no. Now, before you think, well, of course, duh, that's what we need to do, don't leave this video because I'm going to explain that in more detail. Pornography is a problem with impulse control. You're browsing Instagram, you're browsing TikTok, you see a guy with his shirt off, you see a girl shaking her rear end, and you think to your brain tells you, you get a craving, and then your brain tells you, okay, go watch The Hub, go hop on an adult media content website, go watch porn. What you have to start to develop is the ability to say no, the ability to exercise impulse control and delayed gratification. A lot of people don't realize this. This is something I want you to think about and something that I want you to comment below. But a lot of people who struggle with pornography addiction <clears throat> also struggle with impulse control. And maybe this relates to you're saving up to go buy an apartment and move out of your parents, but you find yourself spending money on stupid things you don't need. You can't say no to buying that new pair of shoes. You can't say no to buying that new watch. You can't say no to buying that new whatever it is, what, that new meal, that new, that new dinner meal that's costing you $75 a week. Do you have a problem with impulse control in other areas of your life or delayed gratification? The ability to say, I can't do that until I do this. I can't do this until I do that. That's one of the primary areas or aspects of our life that pornography addiction damages, impulse control and delayed gratification. So what I want you to start to do when you're browsing social media and you get triggered or you get triggered by God knows what to go watch pornography, I want you to take a second and simply tell yourself, no, no, I'm not going to do this today. There's a lot of other things I can do right now, but I can't do this. And this is a technique that you can use in many areas of your life. Maybe you are staring at that new iPhone. Maybe you are staring at that new watch. Maybe you are staring at that new piece of jewelry. And maybe try that technique. Tell yourself, no, I can't do that, but there's a lot of other things I can do right now. And then start going to do those other things. Now, there's other ways you can start to develop impulse control and like strengthen delayed gratification outside of just telling yourself no. One of my favorite things that I started to do when I quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, adult media content was uh, fasting. Now, of course, this doesn't apply to people if you have an eating disorder if you, or if you have a, an estranged relationship with food at this time, but fasting for me was an unbelievable tool that I was able to use that strengthened my ability to exercise impulse control. I feel hungry at the moment, but I know I don't need to eat that right now, so I'm going to wait a few hours. I was trying to lose weight when I started my recovery process from my addictions, and I found fasting to be an unbelievable tool that helped me in that journey. I'll make more videos on that in an upcoming series on fasting and some nutrition stuff for you guys. But think of other things in your life that you can do that will develop discipline and that will develop that, that ability for you to exercise impulse control. Maybe start to say no to yourself when you are out shopping, when you are spending money. Maybe start to prioritize a series of things that you have to get done or that you should be getting done and focus on accomplishing those things. Just setting up a list or setting up a task list for yourself can go an extremely long way when it comes to quitting pornography 
because you're training your brain on impulse control and delayed gratification, which are often two areas of a person's life that have been extremely damaged by pornography addiction. So once you start telling yourself no, so you're at home, it's during the day, you're getting a craving to watch porn and you repeatedly tell yourself no, I cannot do this today, but there's a lot of other things I can do right now. And then go do those other things. It's like a muscle. That willpower, that strength that you start to develop will grow. It's like training a muscle. The more I train my biceps, the more my biceps are going to grow. The more you train that willpower part of your brain, the more you make saying no become a habit the more you're going to be able to use that habit, to use that talent in other aspects of your life. And this is where, again, we talk about saving money, we talk about investing money, we talk about remaining loyal in your relationships, right? A lot of people who call our offices with pornography addiction or addiction to adult media content aren't calling our offices to work with us until they're in a relationship, until they're married, because they realize here they are in this relationship that they thought was going to fix this addiction or fix this problem, and here they are still unable to say no to sliding into someone else's DMs behind that person's back, to having other relationships outside of their marriage, outside of that boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. They never developed the ability to say no, and it continues to be damaged by pornography addiction. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize this until they're already in a lot of trouble or in a challenging situation. If you need help you know, making a schedule or focusing on your ability to say no, I highly recommend picking up one of these high performance planners. I'll throw the link in the bio below. These things are awesome. They help you like organize your day and write down your goals and things like that instrumental in my ability to overcome addictions and set new goals for myself. I hope this video helps you guys out. If you're curious about why you should quit, why you should be quitting pornography, or why you should start a no-fap regimen, be sure to follow me into the next video where I talk about the benefits of no-fap and quitting pornography addiction. I'll see you guys there. Remember, just say no, literally, over and over again. I can't do this today, but there's a lot of other things I can go do.